Hello everybody and welcome to Learn Middle Egyptian. Today we are going to find out how ancient Egyptians noted numbers and their dating system. At the end of this episode, you will be able to recognize and decipher a date written in hieroglyphs. So let's see this together. So Egyptians did not know the zero and this forced them to use a different symbol for each power of 10 and repeat these symbols as many times as needed. So for units, they were represented by vertical lines, tens by a basket handle, hundreds by a rope, thousands by a lotus, tens of thousands by one finger, and hundreds of thousands by this type of lizard. So for example, for the number 132,427, we represent it the way you see it on the screen. So you put one for the hundred thousands, three for the tens of thousands, two for the thousands, then four hundreds, and then two for the tens, and seven for the units. You can try to practice at home by trying to write numbers in hieroglyphs. Let us now look at the Egyptian calendar. A year is divided into three seasons. Each season is divided in four months, and each month it counts 30 days. A day is divided into 24 hours, 12 hours for the night, 12 hours for the day. And the hours of the night were measured observing specific stars depending of the time of the year. That explains the presence of the glyph star in the word for hour and in the word for month, as well as a crescent. Egyptians adopted the solar calendar by adding five days at the end of each year. The year is divided into three seasons, the season of inundation, called Ahed, the season of growth, called Peret, and the season of harvest, called Shemu. Each season has four months. They are numbered from one to four. Years are designated in relationship with the ascension of the reigning king. So if you have seen uh, the episode uh, number two of Sinue, uh, you will notice that the date is represented this way. So it reads, renal year 30, month three of the flood, meaning the Yachet, day 7. With this information, you should easily recognize and read a date inscribed on a monument or a stele. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you like this content. And see you very soon for the future episodes.